when you come in for surgery, um, you're going to be cared for by lots of individuals because there's really a, a large team that's involved with your care because the expertise is not just limited to me and my direct team. So you'll meet uh, nurses in the preoperative holding and the anesthesiologists. And one of the things that we have done, which is a clear advance in terms of pain management, is our anesthesiologists perform what are called peripheral nerve blocks. And so the anesthesiologist will put a thin little catheter around the nerve in the front of your thigh, called the femoral nerve, and the big nerve in the back called the sciatic nerve, which people are a little more familiar with that nerve. Uh, and that numbs the leg up for when we're doing the surgery. And we keep those catheters in for a couple days afterwards to help with pain. We're very focused on keeping patients' pain under control. If I, I, I want my patients to have good pain control. Our nurses are very focused on this. And we also want to minimize the side effects that some pain medication, particularly narcotics, can cause. That's one reason why we really love these peripheral nerve catheters. They help numb up the leg, and we don't have to give the patient as much narcotic medicine so they don't get as confused, and they're not feeling sick to their stomach as much, and so it's uh, really a big advance. So you as the patient will meet that team of anesthesiologists and the anesthesia personnel that help us before the surgery, during the surgery, and then even afterwards, our anesthesia team sees the patients to check on the nerve catheters. Uh, then, of course, there's the surgical team, me, and my team rounding every day. And then there's our nurses, and we're really blessed with, with wonderful nurses and patient care technicians. So everybody is really here focused on trying to give our patients a great experience, control their pain, give them excellent rehab, and we have wonderful therapists too. And, you know, everyone is important. Every single person in that chain is important. So when we do the knee replacement surgery, basically we cut off a couple tablespoons of bone from each side of the joint. And this is a model of a knee replacement. And basically, there are different parts. There's a metal piece here that goes inside the tibia, which is the lower leg bone. And we put a plastic insert on top of that, which basically serves as a cushion. We put a metal cap over the end of the thigh bone. So you can see it really caps it. There's not much bone that we remove, because our goal is to remove the arthritic surface. And finally, there's a little plastic button that we put under the kneecap. It's not shown on this model, but we put it there to replace the arthritic undersurface of the kneecap. Patients sometimes think we cut out their kneecap, but we don't. The kneecap stays in. We just put a plastic button underneath to do what we call resurface the patella. Uh, so that's what the implants look like. The surgery usually takes about an hour to an hour and a half, depending on uh, the patient. Patients come in and they have questions about whether this is a minimally invasive surgery or less invasive surgery. And my answer is yes and no. On knee replacement, the length of the skin incision, we tend to make a little longer uh, because we want to make sure that we don't have a lot of tension on the skin edges because the risk of wound healing problems is a little greater with knee replacement surgery. And if there's a wound healing problem, there's going to be a higher risk of infection. So a little bit longer scar is absolutely the better trade-off. Um, we do do tissue sparing or tissue gentle type exposures. Uh, but some of that depends on the specific patient. So if the patient's real heavy, then they, in general, get a bigger incision. If the patient's thin, then we can do smaller incisions and less invasive approaches.